Today we are going to learn final accounts with the bad debts, provision for bad and doubtful debts and provision for discount on data. Now we will solve one problem. This question I have taken from Tamil Nadu government 11th standard textbook. I am going to read the problem. Listen carefully. From the following trial balance of Ajit prepare final accounts for the year ended 31st March 2016. Debit balances are given. Credit balances also given. Along with that some adjustments also given. The first adjustment is closing stock to be valued at 8000. Then the second adjustment further bad debts amounting to rupees. 100. So this is uh, new bad debts will have a impact on data. So we should mark data. Then create 2% as provision for bad and doubtful debt. So second adjustment for data. Then create 1% as provision for discount on data. So we have three adjustment for data. Three adjustment for data. Now I am going to solve. Before uh, solving the problem first we have to draw the format. Trading profit and loss account of Mr. Ajit for the year ended 31st March 2016. Opening stock, purchase minus purchase return, credit side, sales minus sales return, closing stock. Then trading account balancing lines, gross profit, profit and loss account balancing line. Then I drawn the format of balance sheet, balance sheet of Mr. Ajit as on 31-3-2016 liability assets, capital plus net profit minus drawing minus income tax. First you have to draw. Then now I am going to solve the problem. First opening stock opening stock will be debited to the trading account next furniture furniture is a asset furniture is a asset 30000 then purchases trading account debited should be recorded in the inner column then we have sales return trading account credit side should be deducted from sales then carriage invert it is a direct expenses debited to the trading account carriage invert direct expenses debited to the trading account value 10,000 next office rent it is an indirect expenses debited to the profit and loss account value 23,000 yes Next we have debtor. Debtor appears in the asset side. Debtor appears in the asset side. It has three adjustments. So students listen carefully. If debtor has three adjustment, we have to leave five lines for debtor. Once again, I'm repeating. If debtor has three adjustment, we have to leave five lines for debtor. If it has one adjustment, leave one line. If it has two adjustment, leave three lines. If it have uh, three adjustment leave five line so here data has three adjustment so we have to leave five lines then bank after leaving five lines we have to write bank bank how much 19600 then bad debts this is bad debts given in the trial balance old bad debts old bad debts debited to the profit and loss account old bad debts debited to the profit and loss account value 900 we should write in the inner column because uh, new bad debt should be added okay next uh, capital capital is a liability capital is a liability then return outward is a purchase return return outward is a purchase return should be deducted from purchase then we have bills payable is a liability bills payable is a liability value 10,000 Next we have sales should be recorded in the credit side of trading account. So balance net sales 1,22,000. Then we have old provision for bad and doubtful debts. Now we will not take this provision for discount on data. This is also old. So old provision not required now. You, you should put one tick mark then leave it. Then go to the adjustment. Take the first adjustment. Closing stock to be valued at 8,000. The adjustment will affect two places. One is trading account credit and balance sheet asset side. Balance sheet asset side. Value how much? 8,000. Then the second adjustment further bad debts. This is a new bad debts. Minus new bad debt should be deducted from debtor. New bad debts 
value of the bad debts how much is 100 rupees so balance 20000 the new bad debts should be added with the old bad debts new bad debts should be added with the old bad debts new bad debt should be added with the old bad debts 100000 next create 2% as provision for bad and doubtful debts this provision for doubtful debts is new provision should be deducted from balancing debtor minus provision for bad and doubtful debts provision for bad and doubtful debts new 2% we should create on the balance debtor balance 19600 now what we supposed to do new provision should be added with the debit side provision for bad and doubtful debts new provision for bad and doubtful debts new how much just now we are certain 400 so 1400 now we will take old provision now we will take old provision for bad and doubtful debts that we have to deduct minus provision for bad and doubtful debts old provision for bad and doubtful debts old how much given in the trial balance 500 that we should deduct now that we should deduct now 900 students once again old bad debts and new bad debts added new provision concern new provision should be added old provision should be deducted then we have the last adjustment create one percent as provision for discount on debt are first we have to deduct bad debts on remaining debt are we should provide provision for doubtful debts after deducting bad debts and provision for doubtful debts remaining debt are called good debt are on that we should provide provision for discount on debt are so minus provision for discount on debt are how many percent 1% 1% of 19696 so balance how much 19404 19404 that provision for discount on debt are should be debited provision for discount on debt are new provision for discount on debt are new how much is just now we ascertained 196,000 196 sorry 196 minus we have to deduct old provision for discount on debt are old provision for discount on debt are how much which is given in the trial balance rupees 100 that we have to deduct balance 96 rupees now we recorded all the adjustment now i am going to close the trading account so trading account credit side total 130 bring it to the debit side deduct this you will get gross profit cd transfer to profit and loss account value already i ascertained 66000 this 66000 transferred to the profit and loss account here credit side uh, profit and loss account higher than the debit side so 66000 minus this value we will get uh, net profit we'll get net profit transfer to capital account capital account value already ascertained 42000 4 42004 rupees this 42004 rupees should be added with the capital no drawing no income tax now we'll add the balance sheet total we'll make balance sheet total the balance sheet total is 77004 70004 students we learned the treatment of old bad debts and new bad debts old provision new provision for bad and doubtful debts and uh, old provision for discount on debt are and uh, new provision for discount on debt are in next class we will solve different problem till then bye and uh, thank you